Hello everyone, welcome back to another playthrough of Finding Paradise. Last thing we did is that we discovered that there's something wrong with at least Colin's memories or something like that because he keep jumping back from like older memories to uh, more recent memories to like when he's young, then to his older, then back to when he's young. So we're now back to his childhood. Um... So, we want to see if we can learn a little bit more about what he wants from us. Because he hasn't really told us. Is there literally anything else left, Miss Miller? Nope. This is your instrument. Get used to it. So, he didn't want to play the cello. Love playing cello as a kid. My arse. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Wow, you belong at a great school. Your childish jabs aside, Eva, and on an unrelated note, this place kind of makes me feel like I'm on a set of some indie French film. Uh, what? What about this possibly makes you feel that way? I don't know, just feeling. Oh my gosh, not the music! I saw one indie French film in my life, and I regret every moment of it. If you want something else, you should have lined up earlier. So you got like the butt end of the instruments. But um... Hey, don't push. I call dibs on the violin, it's so light to carry. I'm gonna find the, get the flute, it fits in my backpack. And kiddo got cello. It is a big instrument. And it's hard to play. But what I was saying was I saw one French film in my life. And it was odd. Did you see that? Is he carrying that thing or is it carrying him? Looks like looks like just a floating case from behind. That is a little funny. Or like a case with legs. He's so annoyed. Poor kiddo. Cello is a great instrument. And there he leaves. But yeah, that movie... Oh my gosh, it was like, a lot of nudity. Wow, this is awkward to watch. Eva, why do we get all these losers as, as our clients? Maybe because you're here, moron. Aw, that's a nice compliment under Gauss's law of hermetism. I cannot stomach working with this man. <laughs> He's too much. He's too much. But yeah, and the French film was weird too because like some older teacher lady was into like her student or something. It was odd. Huh, I have a feeling that these aren't exact replicas from the actual setting. It's as if his memories took quite the creative liberty in mixing things up. Isn't the machine built with public domain data stabilizers to prevent this? Uh, yeah, but maybe broken? Maybe? You're the tech specialist. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look afterward. The guy sure takes creative liberty with his memories. It's like he's going to tip over at any moment. Is there anything else? I'm missing one. Mm. Oh, there he is. 
What's he doing? Counting dirt, I guess. That's it. All right, now he's in class. Colin. Colin. Uh, uh, the answer is C. What? I'll ask you again. What is the radius of this circle? Uh, uh, where's your head at, Colin? Go stand out in the hall. So it wasn't cats. It was just his childish memories remembering cats. Hmm, I think I saw something on the raw back there. Um... She's right. Hmm. That could be our ticket out of here. Alright, I think we could reach it if we just... No, I got this. Let me find a way. Oh, stand down in the hall. Alright, now watch this. Is that a freaking wand? Wait. Wait, you didn't disable the molar. Oh my gosh. He's trying to move the teacher's desk. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. And down. Did you cut? Did you kids just fucking see that? Dude, reset. Okay, first of all, disable reactive interactivity before you pull that stuff. And second of all, that's not even how that spell goes. Uh, yeah it is. Did you see that thing fly? They sure did, you village idiot. Uh, you doofus. Oh, it's the clock. Hmm. What? Nothing. I guess I was just expecting you to start saying dumb things again. Eva, do you know how draining it is to unleash a comic comic high ha and a Hadouken simultaneously? <laughs> I mean, I know I'm a pro, but even I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't. Okay. So we need a clock. Almost there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright, let's go. Activate Momento! So, is this before they moved in? Um, are we back at the old age period again? Well... Okay, yeah, we... Oh! Wait, huh? And here it is, the perfect retirement apartment. We sure are. 
Okay, I think I got it figured out. Hmm? I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. With all our other patients, we began from the most recent point and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first few memories, in his oldest time, everything went just as normal. But then, somehow we got slingshotted and all the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that, and once again, we leaped back to the older times where we left off. Then to the early ones again, moving forward. It's just a loop. And once more to the older time, moving backward. These jumps aren't in a random order, and nor do they form just any pattern. It's the pattern of a de decaying orbit. Hmm. It's almost as if we're being pulled in spiraling toward a gravitational center. Pulled in spiraling toward a gravitational center. A gravitational center, huh? Inappropriate context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh so deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatized our fine gentlemen? I don't know, maybe it is a memory of that sort, but maybe it's something else. <laughs> uh, what else? What could be here other than memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients and there's never been a memory that's done this. Alright, I guess at least this is this one isn't routine then. Hmm. We'll see. Hmm. A gravitational center. Fred, one bedroom with balcony and there's also an attic for storage. How often do you find attics in an apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building, though. Yeah, but this unit is on the edge. You can see if you hold out a mirror from the back of me. Here, have a bow shirt. And this is the kitchen. If you pay attention to the walls, you notice that it hasn't had even one fire accident. Of course, if it had, the whole place would have surely burned down, being an apartment and all. Uh, I, I mean, of course it won't happen because y'all seem like careful folks, right? I guess what I'm saying is, uh, fire safety is very important. Look, I'm really sorry. I'm just really new to this. You're doing great, Fred. It's okay. <laughs> Let's try going upstairs. That is odd to have a attic in an apartment building. In an attic in an apartment, isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for heating utility units for the building. If something in the building explodes, I guess it probably hit pretty close. Dude. Okay, I'm trying to feel spooked about the memory leap thing, but this isn't helping. On the other hand, it is kind of suspicious that they carved out this single storage attic. What? He's not good at this. He's not really good at trying to sell this place. Exploder. Fire. Wait, <laughs> sweets. Usually we don't try to talk about those things. <laughs> and as you can see, this is why they call this the Lakeview Residence. I see another building. I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side. But if you extend your head off the balcony to the left, you might be able to see a bit of it. D don't, though. Y you'd fall off. 
Okay, on we go. He is not doing a good job at this. So what do you think? Well, it is nice and quiet. I like it. Me too, but... I would have liked it better if you just didn't talk, Fred. Yeah, that really didn't help. At all. If you weren't my cousin's friend's brother, we would have walked away by now. More like ran out. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not good at sales. So, um, sorry to be blunt, but are you going to take it? Because there's a deposit fee, you see, which technically I could elope with, but I promise I... S stop talking. We'll take it. Mm-hmm. Fred was digging his hole really quick. Huh? Wasn't this just a brochure a moment ago? Uh, I guess he just folded it. What's the issue? Well, if I'm guessing right, oh, it's a memento. Being a memento is kind of odd that it came to be without us seeing it. Or came to be without us seeing. Huh. If any, in any case, at least it's convenient. I didn't see another way out of this place. Too helpful. You say you're a musician, right? This room is perfect for performances. There's very little room for an audience, though, so you'd probably be playing alone. Which is kind of sad, but I digress. Oh my gosh, friend! This dude is not made for this. Okay. Pair. Okay, so it's the airplane this time. Yeah, it's like that's the best I can do, y'all. <laughs> Activate Memento! So we should go back in time when he's younger. Yep. I mean, so far her theory is holding up. Sling back again, huh? Yep, your theory still checks out. Okay, let's place bets. What? Bets on what's causing this anomaly, of course. You guess his versus mine. Oh, get a life. Dibs on first guess, then. Bet you $10. It's about a girl. Suddenly a romantic, aren't you? Nah, just the fact that, that with these things, it's always about some girl. Not everything is about some girl, Neil. Besides, I think we've seen enough from his own memories to say that he's happily married and... Hey! Is that a kid or a girl? I think it's a girl on the other side. It is a girl on the other side. <laughs> Fair. What you doing up there? You. I see you standing up there like every day. What are you always looking at? There you are. So, got a name? Uh, you do have a name, right? Colin. What? I can't hear you. I said my name is Colin. Huh? 
Your colon? What? <laughs> what? No. Let me just... Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> colon, huh? That's a great name. He's gonna get like a megaphone or something. Oh, he's gonna write a note and throw it to her. I hope Watts isn't right. Doesn't seem like he was playing with it much. Poor Rue Dog. Hey, I'm going to throw this paper plane over. I wrote the, I wrote stuff on it, so just catch it, okay? I was gonna say just speak louder, but okay. Okay, here it goes. Oh, oh, sheesh. Huh? Hold on. Universe said no. Dumb kid has no respect for the laws of physics. He's like nine, dude. Hey, it's all right. You need to concentrate, okay? Just keep your eyes on me and throw as hard as you can. If you try hard enough, I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. Aw, oh, she's sweet. Okay, okay. I can do this. Here it goes. You got it, kiddo. Oh, oh. Aw. Oh. <laughs> mm. It's too windy. <laughs> you should have seen your determined face. That's not funny. You can't throw it against the wind, silly. No matter how hard you try. What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> I'm going inside. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Don't go. So, Colin, right? I thought you didn't hear. Yeah, well, I think I've actually seen you on the way to school. What does it have to do with, you gotta, you got to the one just across, you go to the one just across the woods from here, right? Yeah. Oh, well, I go to the one just across the street from yours. The private school. Yep, yep. Lucky. Why? Well, because it's all exclusive and costs money and stuff. Oh, I guess. People are all snooby there, though. They are? Nah, I'm just trying to make you feel better. Hey, let's walk to school together next time. Why? Because I like you, silly. You're just the right amount of dumb. What's that supposed to mean? Besides, have you heard about the bear attacks in the woods? No, I've only seen badgers. What did you hear? Oh no, I didn't hear anything either. But that's why I'm suspicious. It's a little too quiet. Anyway, you probably go the same route anyway. Um, we go to the same right route, right? It'd be good to stick together. I, I guess so. Hmm. What was that? Hmm? She just ran back when they came out. Uh, it's not that uncommon for kids to be scared of their parents. Back when I was young, I knew a kid who had one scary mother. 
Saw her spanking him with a spatula once. Never ate her brownies after that. That's really gross. He looks like a doll. Oh, that's the memento. Oh, another clock. Don't you dare do anything. I'm getting this one. Let me at least take it off the wall for you. No. Just don't. It's not even that high. We don't need to take it down. Is he beating himself up being silly? What a weirdo kid. I think it's kind of cute. On the upside, I wish I had the TV all to myself when I was a kid. You and Rudog. Today, classical guitar concert is sponsored by Meow Blend. Meow, 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 meow. Oh my gosh. Why can we have a jingle this catchy? <laughs> One can only dream. Coming up next on Classic Replay, The Godfather. Hold on, I kind of want to stay and watch this. Come on, you weirdo. What is that? Oh, it's the cello. Why are you playing in the bathroom, sweets? Oh my gosh. Why is he practicing in the bathroom? Because the bathroom reverb makes it sound awesome, of course. I mean, I guess, but like, my thing is this. This is just me talking now. There's so much moisture in the bathroom and stuff. You don't want to destroy the instrument in the woodwork. Oh, goodness. You sure seem knowledgeable. Back when I played the triangle, I did it all the time. Ooh. Better than I could do, though. Wow. Not even the fabled bathroom weaver could save that crap. Well, that's why people sing in bathrooms as well, because it sounds really good, apparently. All right, let's get that out of here. Some Blakes help to remember, some help to forget. Okay, so Okay. Oh, there we go. That's odd. <laughs> Enter my biceps are sore. Starting this new thing where I try to work to failure when I do my upper body now. I used to just do a certain number of reps, not to failure, but now I'm doing to failure and now my body hates me. It's great though. People look for you, you know. Nervous for, nervous for your last performance here. I'm not nervous. It's just, I played in this theater for so many years. It feels strange to just have this be the last. Well, you never know. We can always visit this place. Isn't This place isn't going anywhere. I saw what you were going to play, by the way. Not my most virtuosic piece, huh? Well, I kind of liked that one, but I thought you didn't. I guess it's grown on me. I knew it. Just a little. Hey, we still got some time before the concert starts, right? 
Go get your cello and come play with me for a bit. That'll help calm my nerves. I thought you weren't nervous. What's this way? Oh. What are you doing slacking off up there, Ash? Oh, come on. I've already set up a whole row of chairs. I've even named it Asher's Row. Row. Everyone who sits will pay a toll. Oh, I'll, ta I'll let that take care of your allowances then. Not cool, Dad. Oh, hey. Where's Mom? Not sure. I'm going to go look for her. That's why you need to get your butt down here and help. Bleh, all right. I mean, I thought I could interact with the people. Oh, time is a place? Hey, have you guys seen Sophia? Check the practice halls. I saw her going there. Thanks, will do. Y'all should, should visit, by the way. We're gonna miss having her play here. I we will. And they never did. You don't know that. I don't like how I'm controlling Watts. <laughs> I like Rose a little more. She's a less, a little bit less annoying. Who's got the best nose? You do. Oh yes, you certainly do. What what are you looking at? Awkward. So what do you want to play? Doesn't matter really. Why don't you just play your scales and I'll do that accompaniment for it? <laughs> Are we trying to calm you down or me? I happen to find the simple things mindless and relaxing. Fair enough. It's a song in the intro! It's so pretty! The scale theme. That's gotta be fun. Beard play music with spells. Oh, that's a memento. Man, he's playing scales while she's doing all the work. He sounds great. Leave him alone. Didn't you used to play the triangle in band? Yes, and a triangle is one of the most nuanced and misunderstood instruments there is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone in the world would, under, would not say that. <laughs> they sure try hard to play some fancy scales. You go, girl. Sounds great. So pretty. Well, my heart... What you up to, Asher? The lad grows young so fast. I wonder what the last thing is. Man, this place is perfect to play chair paceman. Nani? What is chair paceman? Hey, that's part of the notes from To the Moon. Whoa! 
What the? It's flickering into another memory. Uh, or not. Any idea what that was about? How should I know? Well, you are the technician. And to be fair, this isn't the only weird thing that's happened this trip. Are you sure you didn't forget a wire or miss a calibration? How dare you! My calibrations are as spotless as Bambi's butt after he lost his spots. Okay, okay. I'm just saying you should op keep an, open, an eye open. That, that comparison made no sense. But fine. It's just so pretty. Do, 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 do. All right, so I need the cello. Nice, my gosh, it's so good. Hmm. What do you know? What's what you what you know? You know what's weird? That's what he's saying. You know what's weird? What? This memory is of his wife's last concert. Yet we didn't see any of her concert itself. There was a flicker of it back there, I guess. Still, self-absorbed, ahoy. Self-absorbance. Ahoy, is what he said. Perhaps, but it depends. What we see here is largely influenced by his actual regrets, after all. Try to remember what we, what we see here has more to do with relevance than importance to him. Uh, something still feels odd to me. But alright, see you on the other side. Okay, so back to younger him. I drink water, okay. Come on, it's just up ahead. Yeah, yeah, I know where it is. Why do we have to come so far just to play some music anyway? Have you seen the view up there? It's unreal. Besides, no one be around to tell me I suck at cello. You suck at cello. Hey, you get a pass. Where's your tutor top? Duh, he has a little girlfriend. That girl from the balcony, huh? I don't know if his wife would like this. It's not much to fuss over, they were just kids. And besides, it was long before Collins even met Sophia. Still, the matters we see here tend to be relevant to his real-time regrets, right? It's not our job to judge. Let's just see how it goes. Landscape's pretty. Okay, just give me a moment. And you want to, to race to the top? And you want to race to the top, huh? It's a cello. You tried carrying this thing uphill. Not to mention you're like weightless. Hey, it was your idea. 
New idea. Break time. It's just a cello. It's all hollow inside. What you need is a real exercise. Hey, what are you doing? Hop off. We're going to roll down the hill and die. Wow, so grim. I thought you just said I'm weightless. At least I'm a little consistent. Why are the best places always so hard to get to? What's the point if it just tires me out to get there? Might as well just close my eyes and pretend I'm there. You're such a downer, you know that? Look at me! I'm Colin! I just roll around and complain all day! You can stay here if you wanna, but I'm going places. Pretty little place to play. So, what can you play? Just the scales, sort of. Still? But it's been months. Hey, not everyone's got those fancy private tutors like you. I'm just figuring it out as I go. Hmm, why don't you play a bit and show me? Okay, but it's just the scales, you know. Good enough. Well, it, it could, could be worse. It could always be worse. Don't you practice? Yeah, but it's so boring to play the scales over and over. I wish I could just jump directly to playing mel melodies. Here, why don't you play it again? Alright, here it goes. Oh, she plays the guitar. See? With the right accompaniment? Anything could be a melody. Yeah. Nice. So she came up with that, I guess. Isn't that what Colin and his wife were playing in the last memory? Yeah. Can we judge now? <laughs> no, we cannot. He's so stupid. Can we judge now? <laughs> He sure likes taking that book everywhere. I'm actually surprised it's not getting blown away by the wind. For a kid, she's pretty good at the guitar. You know what's interesting about this memory, though? These early memories of his are way more vibrant than the more recent ones. That's true. Are you suggesting Alzheimer's? A possibility? Always, but even so, perhaps just early stage? Not all of his earlier memories are clearer than the recent ones, only some in particular. Alright, because I'm not sure how I feel about rewatching the notebook. I think I'm starting to lose my voice. <laughs> Might stop soon. Where to now? We're missing one memento. All right, so it looks like whatever we're looking for is up there. Mm. 
as an instrumentalist something <laughs> that's kind of fun to do is listening to a song an instrumental song and trying to determine what the next note will be after another note and when you guess it right you just feel so good just like yes I did it or you come with a note that would have sound better than the one that the um, composer chose at least in my opinion it's fun He sure brought th that song a long way into the future. Well, to be fair, it's just the scale. What I'm more curious about is how his wife knew the same accompaniment to it. That was a good question. Wow, there were some giant flowers. I think it's a hibiscus? Odd place for a wild one to grow though. We saw our biscuits in their apartment last time. Hmm. <coughs> All right. Mm, so we need a flower. Okay. I'm trying to find the other hibiscus. Maybe, okay, I have an idea. Let me do this. Get rid of that. There it is. There you go. Hi, right, activate it. Where did Neil go? Okay, back to a later memory. Have you seen wire hibiscus around this part of the world? Don't know. I'm not the one to be plantologist. It's botanist. It's called botanist. Oh, hey, look over there. Be careful out there, Ash. Those look a bit loose. It's all good, Dad. I got this. You should come up here and play, too. Listen, at least come down. Let me fix it first. Never! Are you okay, son? Ash. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm invincible! Good for you, kid. What did he see? What was that? Or was that? Don't know. Let's not try to jump to conclusions. Oh. 
Oh, so that's the memento. What's wrong with him? The joy of being a parent, probably. Kids are stressful. Okay, so now I need an entire. Oh, success! That's a nice looking tire. Let's get the heck out of here. So he's like, um, kind of a teenager ish, like 12, 13. Badger. You jerk. Random airplane. Oh, it's a friend. Been waiting for me? Huh, been waiting for me, huh? What took you so long? Jeez, I made it, didn't I? I got a life, you know. Oh, wow. Whoa, what'd you learn to do that? It's called talent. Come on, weren't you gonna show me your school? Yeah, the classroom should be cleared by now. Are you gonna stay for our band practice as well? Yeah, yeah, lead the way. Their voice is probably gonna sound the same because I can't sound like a teenage boy. Oh, don't you, they remind you of us when we were young. <laughs> Not one bit. What is wrong with you? Does he like Eva? Huh. This school looks familiar. It's the same school in, um, To the... I mean, yeah, in To the Moon. Small world. But then again, I guess many of the geezers who here grew up in the same area. This is what we have at our class. Neat. Are any of these drawings yours? No, mine got thrown out. These are the good ones. That was weird. Is the cafeteria locked? Nah, I just don't like going in there. There are plenty of other nicer and quieter places to eat at. I feel that. Computer lab. The one class everybody slacks off at and you actually work? Uh, I, I like these classes. If you really try hard, you can create entire worlds of them. How cool is that? Well, that doesn't sound like your thing. Well, that does sound like your thing. I don't know how I said the complete opposite of what she meant. <laughs> it happens. Geography? And I sit right over there. Although, I'm probably going to move soon. How come? Well, I sat with this odd girl because we're re both really quiet, but recent... Well, she's been hanging out with someone a lot. So... So they'll want to sit together, of course. They're bumping you off? Let me beat them up for you. Oh, it's nothing like that. They just, they just look happy together, so I should get them get them to sit at the same table, right? It's the um, kids from To The Moon. It's those two. What's with the triumphant music? Okay, so that's the momentum. 
why he scares on an or orchestral level now, huh? She taught him well. <laughs> she fell asleep. This is how they stay friends for a while. All right, prepare a momento. I need what a clock. There we go. Noise. You know, if Faye was so important that he would call so much about her even now, what happened to her? Why well, haven't seen any traces later on? We haven't seen any traces later on. I have a few guesses. And she leaves it at that. Dag name it. Did she die? Did something? All right. We're about to culminate where they kind of all meet. This is a hospital. He's a, oh yeah, he was a pilot. I forgot that. Who are you? Wrong room, sorry. Oh, is this like the birth of Asher? Yeah. Sorry, Fia, the storm grounded my plane back, grounded my plane back all day and I just. You made it. Is that... Big baby. Honey, you're vibrating the baby. I'm just gonna be right back. Oh, he's freaking out a bit. He's so obsessed with paper airplanes, huh? Happy though, right? Of course I am. It's just that I don't know. I was in such a rush to get back and suddenly see him here. I guess I just need a moment for it to sink in. Hey, it's okay. I feel it too, you know. But we'll. But well, maybe it's as, it's as they say. Maybe we're never meant to feel ready. How could I? Would I feel no different from the kid I was yesterday? But you are. You are different even from the man you were when I first met you. I don't know what changed, but you're no longer a loaf. 
aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually here. <laughs> we could even make it here when he was born. Well, hey, we didn't know he was so eager to meet us early. What matters is you're here now, and we're going to be okay. I don't think a paper airplane is going to help the baby not cry, sweets. Oh, I thought he was going to throw out the baby. Oh, I, I guess it did help. Yeah, we're going to be okay. Sweet. Absence. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be okay. Memento detected. <laughs> I think we're going to do this last one and then we're going to stop because my throat is going. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. Nailed it. Okay. Let's enter this next memory. How could I, would I feel no different from the kid I was yesterday? But you are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. Okay, back to mid-age him. Oh man, we're on the other side. Uh, wow, far out. Where is he? Did we get drifted from the spawn point? Don't worry, I got this. All right, and that is where we're gonna stop. My throat is killing me. <laughs> We've been playing for a while anyway. So, all right. So, next time we come back, we're going to continue and um, see how freaking Watts gets us back over to the drift point. I'm at. Or to the switch point, whatever you call it. I'm sure it's going to be something stupid and video game or comics related. He's such a freaking idiot. Alright, so um, that is it for this playthrough. Look forward to your next video so you can continue the story. You might even finish it. Don't know. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.